If you are looking to integrate AI chatbot into the front end of your applications, then maybe have a look at this open source framework toolkit, which is called as Copilot Kit. Copilot Kit enables you to build AI chatbots which can understand your own application in a Jiffy. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can get this locally installed and then we will see a very simple tiny tiny application with Node.js as how it works. But more importantly, you need to remember that if you are a Node.js developer, then this should be a piece of cake for you. If you have any legacy Node.js application running or even in TypeScript, this Copilot kit makes it quite easy to integrate and embed these chatbots which are AI powered into your applications. So let's get started and I will show you how you can get it installed locally on the system. Before I show you the installation, let me give you um, a brief introduction to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Coming back to this Copilot kit, as I said, it is an open source framework for integrating powerful AI Copilots into any application. You can easily implement custom AI chatbots, AI agents, AI text areas, and much more with this. It's a whole framework. And for the Node.js application, especially, it is quite the simplest way to integrate production-ready copilots. You can build in-app AI chatbots. You can also enable copilots to read and understand the application state. Copilots can also perform actions in the applications. You can render any component in the copilot chat interface. And you can also have powerful AI auto completion as a drop and replacement for any text area. It also gives you the option of AI powered auto suggestions in your AI chat interface. Plus, you can also let your copilot take actions proactively based on the application state, like stopping, starting, and that sort of stuff. But again, as I said earlier, in order to implement it, you would need to have a good Node.js grasp. And if you're a Node.js developer, you can very easily implement it, it with few lines of code within your application. But let me quickly show you how you can get it installed. And then we are going to go from there. So let me first quickly take you to my terminal where I am running this Ubuntu 22.04. Plus I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000. As it's an API base, so you don't really need a GPU because we'll be using the API from Copilot and I will show you shortly where you can get it. So let me clear the screen and first up, let me create the Conda environment here. Let's wait for it to get created. And my Conda environment is created. Okay, before I move forward, uh, let me show you where you can get the API key for them. You can get it installed locally, but that's very cumbersome. I have tried very buggy, so I would not recommend you uh, installing its runtime locally at the moment. Maybe it will improve in the future. So your best bet it is to grab your API key and then use it locally here. So let me show you. So go to this website, which is cloud.copilot.copilotkit.ai. Sign up with your free Google account, and then you will get the API key from the console. One another downside of this is that in order to get their API key, you would need to provide them OpenAI's API key, which really I, for the life of me, cannot understand why. Um, especially when you're on the free tier, you will get a lot of generous credits from them. But then again, um, you would need to provide your OpenAI's API key, which is a paid option, of course, and you can grab that from platform.openai.com. So this is the first uh, project which I have seen that in order to give you their API key, they're asking you to provide them an open AI's API key. It's very interesting. Anyway, hopefully um, the common sense will prevail and they will stop doing it. But anyway, who knows? So let's go back to my terminal and then our Conda is activated. Let's git clone the repo of this Copilot kit. And then I will drop the link to it in video description. And now not only we have cloned it, but we have also um, did it to it. Let me clear the screen. Of course, it's a node uh, project, so you should have node 
installed you should have npm install as you can see i already have both of them if you don't know how to do it please search my channel i already have done like heaps of videos on it and here at the root of the repo simply type npm install and it is going to install all of the packages from this repo and it is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish and you can see that everything is installed now and you can ignore these warnings for now that is all good let's also install some of the copilot core and react ui let's wait for it to get installed this should shouldn't take too long and that is all done so this is the whole installation which we needed to do let me clear the screen and now in order to run it all you need to do is to run npm run dev and then it is going to start it at your local host at port 3000 that is done let's go to my browser and then from here let's try to grab this i'll just say port 3000 let's wait for it to load first time it takes a bit of a time to load in your browser and this is a sample of my to-do list application uh, without any copilot and because that is what i'm going to so show you how can you integrate it uh, quickly so let me open another terminal and in this terminal at the root of the repo simply type code dot and press enter and you will see that it has opened this vs code window here uh, in this project okay so that is good so now what we are going to do here we are going to integrate copilot kit with our existing application and this is application which we have just downloaded to do list and you can have your own node.js application of course now um, for this one what we are going to do we are just going to go into this um, app and then open your page.tsx file and from here this is the existing code all you need to do uh, you just need to uh, put your api key here and then let me put my api key here so this is my api key don't worry i'm going to remove it after this um, um, video so you just need to provide your api key here once that's done all you need to do is to add line number 15 add this copilot pop-up and then save this file go back to your browser and then you ref just refresh it let's wait for it and on the bottom right you will see your copilot there you go you see you you have your copilot here just click on it there you go so now uh, you can chat with your application you can ask it question and all that stuff and you can uh, but you for that you would just need to do some bit more node.js programming which is not that if you're not just programming that should be very trivial and how can you do that if you go to their website and then i'll quickly show you if you just go to read the docs they have a lot of stuff there for example if you just want to go with readable stats you, all you need to do is to just put in this code in your as per your application it is going to do that you can also initiate some of the actions on the basis of what it what you want your copilot to do so it is very flexible it is very very customizable and extensible similarly you can use uh, text area examples and then a lot of other stuff so all in all pretty interesting i should say um, in terms of building your own copilot and if you're looking to do it in your own application especially which are node.js based i think this is a, a good option so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and you will find all of these code which i have used in their github repo which i will drop the link in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching